Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be learning how to create in-app guidance within Salesforce, specifically making a pop-up uh, that is a user-guided for like user-guided training or anything you would like to do. So to do this, you need to be in setup and quick find, go ahead and type in dash app and it'll pop up in-app guidance. All right, so you're brought to this screen here. So let's just go ahead and check out. I mean, it's got great descriptions here. So you can add learning prompts, um, use it to onboard and train users. There's different settings here. Well, you can see delay between in-app guidance, change the length of time between in-app guidance by default group, prompt walkthrough. Um, you can do custom, you can delay it. We're just gonna select as default. Standard Salesforce in-app guidance, show all in-app guidance created by Salesforce. Um, normally that's automatically checked. Uh, I'm gonna leave it unchecked because I don't really wanna see those right now. And then show all custom created installed in-app guidance. We're gonna make sure that's checked and it should be by default. So to create a new one, we're gonna select add. Okay, so now we're brought into the in-app guidance builder. So it kind of looks like we're in Salesforce, but with like an editor menu across the top. It says navigate to a page within an app, then click add. So we're going to go to an account. So we're going to highlight some of the new features we've added to this. So we're going to go up here to the top right, and you're going to select add. All right, so now we got two choices here. We got new in-app guidance. You have a single prompt or a walkthrough. So a single prompt is just going to be a one-time pop-up whenever the user lands on the page and it'll say whatever you want. Maybe I'll say they'll, when they first log in, it's like, hey, please watch this new training video. That's how you would use this. A walkthrough is very useful for whenever you add new features on an account, contact, whatever, and you want to highlight those and maybe even create like a triggered walkthrough, which is actually what we're going to do today. So we're going to select walkthrough. And next, all right, so now we have prompt type. We have a floating prompt, a docked prompt, or a targeted prompt. So the floating one is just gonna pop up on the screen. This is actually an example of it here. It's kind of showing it to you. A docked prompt will look more like this. This is a great one if you just have something you're wanting them, maybe there's a new account uh, features and you made a video and you want them to watch the training video, you could have it pop up here. Or you could have a targeted prompt. Well, this is very useful because you can actually select which new features you wanna point out. So we're actually gonna create that today. So we're gonna select targeted prompt, we're gonna scroll down a little bit, and it says choose the pages and apps where your prompt or walkthrough shows up. So I'm gonna have it on uh, this page on any app okay prompt position so you need to tell it what where to look so we're going to select targeting prompt and let's just say this is a new section i added a new task like where you're able to create a new task here on the account i'll just select there and this is how it's kind of an example of how it's going to look you can even do a custom color which I actually love the dark because it really stands out, but you can try other colors. You could do the light and kind of change the colors if you want, but I like that dark and I want to make it blue. All right, we're going to hit next. Now, what are we going to title this? Check out the new task button. We have added a new new task button on the account pages and then you can actually upload an image if you want uh, it is pretty cool um, and then buttons so it's saying if you want to set a dismiss you could have like cancel if you want but it's going to make you put something there you if you like dismiss just type dismiss in and then if you want to add another prompt here, so that's like walk through step 101. So right now when they are on this account page, it's just gonna pop up right here and say, hey, there's a new task button. But if you wanna add another step, like another prompt, then walk them through, hit add step. So you can see 
Now we have a second card over here and it's shown as a floating prompt, but I'm gonna do it as a targeted again. This page, any app, and maybe I wanna point out that there is a news section on the account page that they really should be using to make sure they have the latest news on each account. So we're gonna select the target here. We have the color here and it's automatically filled in with the dark, which is perfect. So the title of this is check out the news feature, the news feature as, as the latest info about the account. This is something simple for my example here. I'm going to upload an image this time just for the heck of it. So upload files. And this is one I used in one of my previous videos. It's uploading it now. Done. Excellent. So there it is right there. All right. And it alt to enter text that represents the image to uh, blind or low vision users. So it's like company logo. You have to put something in there or it won't let you save it. And cancel again. All right. Now we're going to save. Okay, cool. So you can add a link to the last step of the walkthrough that opens a URL if you would like. I'm not going to do that. So schedule, choose a date range for the in-app guidance to start and end. I'm going to put an end date for the 12th. And this is frequency. You can have it show one time. I want to have it show when the page loads. It, uh, loads. And I'm just going to put in like four times and with one day in between. So it would show up four days in a row. It, uh, the first time they load that page. Um, you can actually set up profile restrictions if you'd like. You can specify them. I'm not going to do that today. Like standard user, it only show up for those users. I want to have it up show up for all profiles. And you can actually specify like certain uh, permissions as well that would, it would show up for. So anybody with the assigned topics permission would actually see the in-app guidance and no one else would. But we're going to let everybody see it. And then the details. We're going to call this. You can call This is just for admin use. So what you know what it is. It's like new account features. There's the API name. You can add a description. And there's a direct URL if you need it. I'm going to hit save. And then done. So now this is active. So if you actually refresh the in-app guidance page, you're going to see it in here. So it's pretty cool. So there's the name type as a walkthrough type on any app, view account record, and zero complete. So let's go into and look at that account. All right. We've landed on the page, takes a second, but we're here. Check out the new task button. And then steps one or two, they can hit next. And then look at that, boom, pops up our next in-app guidance. They can hit cancel or finish. So that is pretty awesome. So back in setup, we can go back and look and see if I completed it or not. All right, so back here, one view, 100% completes. Now, if somebody hits cancel, that won't count as a complete and they'll hurt your percentage. But if you want to, from here, you can deactivate, copy the URL, you can share it. But this is a very, this is an awesome tool that you can use uh, within your org to help train new users, show them new features. If you create a video demonstrating a new feature, you can embed that link um, and show the, the users for certain profiles. It is so useful, and I use this in my job quite often. So I would highly recommend learning this and learning the feature and being able to help make your life easier because a lot of times these users will submit questions back, hey, I don't know how to use this, and this is a great way to kind of direct them to different trainings. But if you like this video, please to make sure you, you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.